the thing I got most about most out of the trip was uh, just being motivated by other doctors in the field, people you haven't really met before, but uh, can certainly tell when they meet new interns that you know they can tell whether or not you're going to be good doctors based on the experience that you've had up to this point, and being reinforced. Uh, from someone who you haven't even met before, it's like, you know, I've been in your position. I know uh, you were you're just like me when I was in that when uh, I was going through school. You guys are gonna be fine, because you know we always get a little uh, a little afraid about the future, about what's gonna come, and uh, just knowing that someone's been in that position, and now now we have all these resources that we can use to uh, help us through that transition. Uh, that was a really, uh, really helpful aspect about, about the trip. Yeah. And building off that, I feel like um, all of them were like, yeah, I still don't know everything. I'm still learning. And that was really exciting, I guess, mm -hmm. for me, because I constantly feel like there's not enough mm -hmm. that I know. Yeah. And I just want to, when I'm done, I'm just excited to keep doing stuff and learning and growing mm -hmm. and knowing that all these other docs are doing the same thing was mm -hmm. really reassuring. And even, as well. even, uh, some, a lot of them said they've learned stuff from us because they've been out of school for so long that they forget stuff and uh, Benny had said uh, when we were discussing the concussion that or the broken nose that had happened in judo uh, we were going over you know the how an EMT approaches it because uh, I've taken the EMT class and he said there were a bunch of stuff that I I didn't remember at all from that and uh, so it was really surprising how everybody learned from everyone. Yeah. I left with a lot of confidence in what chiropractic can do for athletes. Like I've never seen it in that mass before of what how we can work with athletes right. and uh, the benefits we can give them just right off the bat and how how they wanted us to help them as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was super cool seeing like such quick results. Like and having <coughs> such a language barrier yeah. made it like that much more too. Like it's almost like they were like babies. You know, you get an automatic response from babies, and they were like almost like that, mm -hmm. just because there was such a language barrier, and we really had to go off of facial expressions mm -hmm. and stuff like yeah. that. And then the amount of gratitude that they show right mm -hmm. after working on them, and they're like, I feel so much better. Even if they couldn't communicate that in the same language, you could tell, mm -hmm. you know, how excited they were mm -hmm. that they were ready to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you got really good at reading facial expressions, and yes. you know they you have them raise their arm, and like <laughs> yeah. you work on them, and then they're like, especially yeah, <laughs> just yeah, they're they're yeah. yeah they were. especially <laughs> when the uh, soccer players, just <laughs> all many times. Uh, the the ones that hadn't been adjusted before, yeah, uh, because there's not really anything verbal they can say to us, and maybe it's just a cultural thing that they uh, grunt when you do it. <laughs> But it's like this, you know, it's like the most satisfying thing, it sounds like, uh, coming out of their mouth. It's just really interesting. Yeah, I worked with Craig and he adjusted several people that had never been adjusted before. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, oh, faces. <laughs> and so you, and like, mm -hmm. okay, well, clearly you like that. Mm -hmm. So that was really neat to see also. Because mm -hmm. you couldn't really explain a lot of the time what mm -hmm. you're going to do, yeah. which you do here. Mm -hmm. Do you guys learn anything about fix? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the docs that are part of it are really awesome as well. Mm -hmm. Every single person I met was so cool and helpful and knowledgeable and just kind of made you really excited for what the future of your career can be mm -hmm. and the types of people you get to work with. Yeah. It was really interesting to work with docs from outside of the United States and see how they practice and see the similarities between our practice and theirs. But they also had a, a different viewpoint from what we, we know mm -hmm. in our education. Yeah, it was fun to watch um, them work and then be like, oh yeah, we do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, oh, I've never seen that before. So mm -hmm. that was, I thought that was fun, personally. Or even like uh, jokes that we tell each other. <laughs> You know, nerdy chiropractic jokes that uh, only we get. You know, they were the ones telling them to us. So even you know, across cultures, across countries, uh, the same jokes get told, and they're just as unfunny. <laughs>